Center to help children with a severe mental health crisis is set to open tomorrow in Cedar Rapids. Tanager will hold a ribbon cutting for its Crisis Stabilization Center. KCRG tv 9s Abigail Curtin spoke with the director of this new program and joins us now live in the studio to explain what it is. Well, mental health can create challenges for anyone, but for children it can pose unique challenges. That's where Tanager's new Summit House hopes to fit in. It's no secret that access to mental health care in Iowa is limited. According to a study by the Treatment Advocacy Center, Iowa ranks 51st in the nation for the number of psychiatric beds per 100,000 residents. Don Schott with Tanager says those resources are even more sparse for kids. There's a lot of community-based services, but when you talk residential, that's where your um, options become much more limited. Tanager's new crisis stabilization program will offer just that, a place where kids can stay overnight to get help for a mental health crisis. It's voluntary, letting kids stay an average of five days for care. Schott says this can especially help families learn what resources are available to help them return to their daily lives. Parents not knowing where to turn and not feeling like there's anything at their fingertips. And so this service is, we hope to uh, be accessible to people and, and connect, connect them to those services that they're looking for. Though most importantly, Schott says this can help keep kids out of the hospital where the care might not be what they need. So the highest level of care for youth is hospitalization. A step below that is the psychiatric medical institutes for children. And then a step below that is crisis stabilization residential or the summit house. So we're not replacing hospitalization. We're just another cog in the wheel, another service to provide mental health in this community. Now, the Summit House is actively accepting referrals. Contact information for the program will be with this story on KCRG.com. Live in studio, Abigail Curtin, KCRG TV9 News. A Des Moines.